this side. Okay, apologies in advance if you catch sight of my very untidy house. Uh, I've been gone for about a week, so uh, about a week's work of <laughs> uh, chores to catch up on, um, and my arm is fine. Just had some tattoos today. Oh, good girl, very clever. So just as some follow-up with my comments um, as regards the boom ass review on Shelley's, um, that Shelley shared. Now, I've got greyhounds, like you. Uh, so I can actually quite readily buy muzzles off the rack. Um, this is the base, really, really basic sort of turnout muzzle that you generally get through the likes of Gap. Um, really cheap, really cheap, really readily available. Um, pretty cheap, um, cheap plastic. Um, but one of the advantages of it um, is it does have that sort of scoop shovel base. So for training purposes, if you can drop treats down in it, um, it it helps provide protection from uh, chewing or looking at wounds or bandages. Uh, so there's less taping you have to do if you're going to use it for uh, those sort of purposes. But uh, yeah, I've, I've had to replace most of the ones I've had. Um, uh, they, they don't tend to hold up very well um, to uh, much chewing. Uh, the leather does stretch a bit um, over time. Um, but again, you know, for, for you know, quite, quite cheap, um, quite readily available. Um, this is another type of sighthound muzzle. Uh, this one costed a little bit more, but um, again, uh, relatively cheap as far as muzzles go. More flexible side straps, um, more open face, um, which uh, is it again, if you're going to use it for wound or bandage management, uh, just means you have to do a little bit more taping. Uh, it does have a nose guard with a little bit of padding there, um, which does just provide a bit of comfort advantage, um, but again, a relatively cheap and easy one to come by. Um, I did come across a Boom Mask Kickstarter uh, about a year to 18 months ago um, and took advantage of it. I uh, got two muzzles um, and haven't regretted the investment um, even though it is significantly more than the muzzles that I can get off the rack. So I got one for my uh, boy Ricky. Uh, he's since passed away but I've still got that. Uh, and one for my girl Allie. Um, so again, you can tell, again, personalized fit, um, his being a little bit larger than hers, which you would expect, male versus female. Um, and uh, again, with that biothane, really flexible, um, a lot of comfort factor to it, um, which has actually, you know, quite a significant benefit if the dog comes up to you, if they rub their face on you, if they rub your, their face on your walls. Um, if they go and um, whack you in the groin, because uh, they're trying to get their muzzle off, or just having a good itch, um, it, it doesn't hurt um, because it is a nice, flexible bio thing. Whereas the plastics um, tend to feel quite uncomfortable uh, when they whack up into you. So with the Boom Mask, lots of personalization options. Um, you can get what they call anti-poison straps, which are an additional strap across the bottom and across the nose on the top. Um, just provides a little bit more scavenging protection I didn't go for that with my guys, because uh, uh, that, that's not, you know, that wasn't a significant issue for us. Um, one of the, couple of reasons why I ended up getting the muzzle, mainly for Allie. Um, he, she, she doesn't like being approached by strange dogs. She has nipped before, hasn't ever broken skin. But um, in order to help provide protection to any dogs that might, in error, approach us, as well as to provide clear, kind of a bit more clear indication to, uh, to other owners that we would like space um, and advance warning um, that again, we would like space. And also it helps provide, um, it, it, you know, I've found with muzzles, people tend to respect your space a bit more when you ask for it. They don't tend to just keep pushing through. So um, with that boom ass, as they mentioned on the review, lots and lots of uh, adjustment options. So again, the, the basic muzzle component um, is personally made to your dog's measurements. Then when you get it in, you can personalize the, the actual fit around the face. So I went with a forehead strap in both of them because it is easily removable. There's just a wee, um, just a wee screw that you can take out with a Phillips head if you decide you don't want it, as I did on Ricky's, took his out. I've kept Allie's on because I like that nice yellow strap. It gives us a little bit more lateral stability. Plus, it also means, uh, you know, other dog walkers will see that from, you know, hundreds of yards away. Very, very obvious color on, uh, you know, nice bright yellow on her face, um, which, again, gives them a bit of an advanced notice that, okay, you know, this, this may be a dog that might 
prefer her space. So keep your dog under control, please. Um, as I mentioned, um, over the top of the back of the head, you've got two adjustment points, um, lots of extra holes, plus it is biothane, so uh, technically you probably could punch in extra holes if you find you need it. Um, adjustment points on the cheek straps, um, so the, these ones here. Um, so again, Phillips head, just uh, take it out, adjust it so it fits comfortably around the cheeks. Um, as they mentioned on the review, uh, one of the great options with the boom ass, um, as opposed to the buckle type straps that you get with most of your other muzzles, is you can get a snap attachment. It just makes it a little bit easier, a little bit faster to do it up. Um, and and uh, so less, less fiddling around, just easy snap together, um, snap apart. You can actually take it on and off, you know, one-handedly um, if you get good at it. Um, so that's, that's, again, another fairly significant advantage there. Um, with actually using it during training, I've had no issues. I can feed out of this thing literally as quickly as I can uh, feeding without it. Ellie, going to show? Ellie, walk. Nice. Ellie, over here. Watch. Okay, watch. Nice. So let's have Ellie demonstrate here. Watch. face in here. Uh, she's done a lot of work with this muzzle. So she's very fluent in working with it. This, this, okay, nice. So just easy on and off. Touch, nice. Touch, nice. So and she's pretty fluent with it, so she also knows wh actually where to put the muzzle, so I can most easily get into it. With the way that the the actual the actual uh, circumference muzzle strap runs around the muzzle, because it's kind of a bit of a spiral, you actually end up with a slightly larger area just on that uh, that offside there, um, just that that right rostral ventral side, which is a little bit easier to reach through. Touch, nice. Although you can definitely reach through the other ones as well. Nice. reasonably um, easy to get through with, uh, you'll say, the likes of a tube of baby food um, or soft food. Nice. you got something on your muzzle. You're going to spend the rest of the time licking that, aren't you? Nice. Oh, I just dribbled. Allie. This is the second time we did the video because um, I didn't do it quite right the first time, so she's probably slowing down a little bit. Nice. You're getting full, huh? But it's a pretty easy to fit through through pretty much any of those holes. Um, would be a little bit harder if you had the, uh, the anti-poison straps. Nice. But, um, I said, you know, definitely if you've got a dog that's reasonably fluent, nice. You know, they, they can actually position their own head for it. Okay. Really? And one of the other uh, advantages of these basket style muzzles, and particularly the boom ass, is that you can actually hook it on, you know, this is, is quite good during, say, um, uh, while you're muzzle training, you can actually hook it on like a 3M hook. I picked this up off of Muzzle Up Project. I like this. Oh, get it in there, face. Nice. Like you mean it. Take the hook off that. Perfect, eh? Nice. So this can be good when you're training a dog to use a muzzle, when you're getting used to the mechanics of it, um, which can be useful. Uh, also good uh, if you're wanting to do face. Wrong hole. Almost. Let me help you there. Face. Uh, also good for cooperation training. Now, I probably wouldn't snap it behind their head with it hooked on like that, just in case they spook uh, from it being held a bit more solidly uh, against that hook. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely, you know, gives you an option there, particularly if you have a very, very highly um, fluent uh, sort of muzzle placement um, behavior, then that gives you a really good behavior to use for cooperation training. 
Yeah, you're very clever. Okay, Ali, break.